Patrol, it's the best of the best as we take you through the greatest moments of the first season. This is your ultimate guide on how to create mega pranks. The first step to creating your very own super prank is to come up with a super idea. <laughs> Here's an example of one idea I wouldn't consider that super. <laughs> to be honest, most of the great ideas didn't come from me. What do you say we did something like we bring him to an archeological dig and he were to find something? Like dinosaur bones? Or maybe even an egg. Then it hatches and the dinosaurs eat it. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Lucky for me, I teamed up with some pretty smart kids. What kind of mega prank would you like to pull on your classmates? I would kind of like to make them believe that I'm like super strong, that I'm like a Taekwondo master. I like it. How about the body came back to life? Just like Frankenstein. Maybe we can involve like some kind of a Sasquatch. How about a robot, since they like robots? And it could get them into trouble. I seriously think that's gonna scare a lot. Will she be terrified? Like, very scared. Excellent. So you got your great idea. Then what? Well, if you're like me and don't know how to put a two-piece jigsaw puzzle together, you need to bring in some professionals. And luckily for us, Prank Patrol knows a bunch. Meet the special effects wizards of Cinefix. So you're looking to get yourself superpowers, eh? I can't believe you guys fell for that one. Hi, guys. <laughs> Who is this guy, and what is he doing here? Well, he's a professional diver, and he's our lake monster. <laughs> OK, that was um, loud. What? The next step is preparation, of course. Need an alien crop circle? Find a field and get to work. Oh, this is looking pretty cool. How about some Bigfoot poo? Roll up your sleeves and dig in. A highly intelligent robot, you say? It's my time. I am celebrating because my prank was successful. Ah, <laughs> huh, they're gonna be blown away. What you make all depends on what you want to do. And since a large percentage of our pranksters want to scare their targets to death, <laughs> We ended up making some pretty creepy creatures. Come look. Coming up, see some of our most inventive pranks come to life. Hey! And later, we count down the top five pranks of the first season of Prank Patrol. This is a special edition of Prank Patrol. We're showcasing some of our favorite moments from the past season and showing you how to put together your very own super prank. Many of our pranksters just want to scare the daylights out of people. But a few, well, they were in search of something different. So that meant I had to play a bunch of weird characters to make their super pranks work. Yeah, Machiko the Amazing, that's me. Affirmative, touching, toes. I really wish you'd win. Bobby's, what, 14? Yeah, they're like, I don't know, 25, 30, something like that. My young helpers here and I have prepared this delicious meal. But just chill out, man. You just want a prize. How about you mind your own business? Are you sure? Yeah, it's fine, Skip. That'll be fine. Thank you very much. Oh, dear. Do you have any piece of identification? Cut. Hey! Oh, get out of the way. This is a job for a boy. Ah this is a job for baby steer. Don't. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and just a side note here, I am 
absolutely fascinated with sugar oh glass and will find a way to include it in a prank as often as I can. This is special glass that the pros use that is safe to break. Andy, you have a mosquito on your head. Oh. Did you get it? No. Oh, my head! <laughs> gotcha. But as crazy as I am about sugar glass, nothing compares to how crazy some of our pranksters were about destroying things. Amazing. Hey, whatever it takes to pull off their dream pranks. P.S. Don't try any of this at home. people who like to destroy things. Ninjas. Where would I be without my two trusted companions? Woo! Happier, maybe? The word cheerful comes to mind. Tell you what, if you need them for your prank, I'll rent them to you, free of charge. One, two, three, four! <laughs> Ninjas. 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 the top five pranks of the first season of Prank Patrol and continue showing you how to pull off your very own super prank. It's a special edition of Prank Patrol where we're showing you some of the greatest moments of the first season and teaching you how to pull off your very own super prank. The next important step in creating a super prank is to make sure that your target is where you want them to be when you want them to be there. Sometimes it requires a little embellishing, or in our case, some big fat lies. Hey, what's up, Jordan? Hey, what's up, Ty? What's up, Kai Kai? And yo, I'm making the I'm making my video on Saturday. You wanna come, man? And it's like really cool. It's like motion picture. Like you know how they did Golem in the Lord of the Rings? Yeah. Yeah, it's like that. Cool. He's a famous pop star there, okay, apparently? Mm-hmm. You wouldn't believe it. And apparently, apparently he knows Jennifer Lopez. <gasps> We get a limo, but it's only. What? Yeah, yeah, I'm serious, man. For real? Oh, yeah, for real. Oh, oh, jeez. Are you serious, bro? I'm serious, man. Do you want to come? Yes. You want to come? Yes. Well, thank you, Sean, man. Oh, no problem. Thank you. Can't wait, yo. I just can't wait. They all bought the bait. Then the moment arrives. The preparations have all been made, and the target is in place. Does she shoot a video? Yes, a video. Crazy man, I didn't like my video. <laughs> and here's my last piece of advice. Everyone and everything around your target can be as weird as can be, as long as you, the prankster, maintain your focus. You have some wonderful pieces. <laughs> Sometimes though, that's easier said than done. Thank you for food and friends. Thank you for food and friends. Everybody get up! Get up! That's it! You now have all the tools to create your very own super prank. So let the pranking begin! 
Speaking of pranking, it's time to count down my five favorite super pranks from this season of Prank Patrol. At number five, it's Heavy Metal Makeover. Okay, so in this super prank, Bobby Gibson wanted to blow his dad's mind and eardrums by pretending to join the craziest of heavy metal bands. But first, he needed to look the part, so we gave him an extreme makeover, complete with tattoos and piercings. Then, Bobby joined up with the band Frozen to perform a song he wrote especially for his dad. Toss in some cool pyrotechnics, some bulging biceps for me, his band manager, and this prank was a guaranteed hit. Check it out. Did you get him into music at a young age? He, 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 was, he was all by himself. Oh, yeah? yeah? Cause he's like, you can see, he's got like metal in his soul, man. Yeah. All right, people. couldn't believe what he was seeing. His little boy had grown into a crazy man right before his eyes. At least it couldn't get any worse. Wrong. My job was to convince Bobby's dad to fork over a lot of cash so I could help his son make it big in the biz. Oh yeah, that went over big. That all sounds a little shady. Really? So I just talked to Phil. Now he needs that five thousand dollars like up front tomorrow. How does that sound? Well, I, I understand. I, I don't have five grand. It's not even something I can think about. Dad, come uh, on. Man. Maybe you can maybe write a post dated check. <laughs> Family members are always great targets. Which brings us to my fourth favorite super prank: web trap. Julian Al Sayed called in the prank patrol to prove to the world that his brother isn't as brave as he thinks he is. So he decided to scare him senseless by locking him in a warehouse with a giant 10-foot spider. Of course, that meant we had to make one and make it seem like it was deadly. Go, 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 go. Then it was time to invite his brother and a friend to our spidey trap. The thing I we told them we needed someone to clean up this room because the tenants took off. Of course, little did they know, one stayed behind. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you got it? What a mess. Yo, what is this place, man? I don't know. It's, it's, oh, you think he was like kind of like a scientist or something? Oh, and what is in there? If Julian wanted to see his brother scared just once, he got that, and then some. That's not normal. Okay. Yo, that's a real spider. I dare you to pick it up. No, uh... He said to empty the, the fridge. No, 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 do not open it, do not! Let's go. Okay. <gasps> but that was nothing compared to what they were about to see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and find the light. Oh, there it is. Come on. Everybody in here. Whoa, what is Whoa. that? <gasps> Mission accomplished, Julian. But at Prank Patrol, we're not just about scare tactics. Sometimes we like to relax, kick back, and kick butt. Karate Kid style. Our number three prank. Franco Olivato wanted to prank his entire karate class by convincing them he had superhuman strength. Of course he didn't, but with a little elbow grease and some superhuman special effects, Franco was ready to take on Bruce Lee. Cool! For some reason, I get the feeling that that brick isn't real. Not much gets by you, eh? We put Franco into Stuntman Boot Camp, and he took to it like a pro. You little... <laughs> Once Franco was done his training, it was time for his entire class to witness his newfound powers. We told his class they were here to participate in an infomercial for a new energy drink we called Kung Pao. First, we asked for a volunteer to try the competitor's drink to show that it didn't have the punch of Kung Pao. Sure, do what you want. 
Oof, you're right. Then we had Franco demonstrate that only Kung Pao was successful at increasing their strength and energy. Whoa. Okay, it's really important that you only drink one glass of Kung Pao a day. And after Franco failed to take my advice, the entire class paid the price. Look, you've had enough, all right? Okay. Karate madness ensues, right? Whoa. Whoa. Are you all right? Wait. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Judging by the look on his classmates' faces, they're either scared or confused. And either way, no one's picking a fight with Franco anytime soon. So everybody are right? Coming up, my two favorite super pranks are revealed. They're better than good and more excellent than great, but that's all I'm saying. This is a special edition of Prank Patrol. We're well on our way to counting down my five favorite pranks over the last season, with two more to go. At number five was Heavy Metal Makeover. Number four, Web Trap. And coming in at number three, Karate Kid. Which brings us to my second favorite super prank, Mummy Madness. Corey Hobe wanted to prank his best friend Mariah by having an Egyptian mummy arise from the dead and chase after her. Good one, Corey. To prepare for the prank, we needed two mummies, a fake one and a less fake one, me. Okay, that's enough dirt. After completing the mummy, Corey wrote a spell that when read would make the fake mummy disappear. And when Mariah least expected it, I would reappear. And then it came together sweeter than two sides of an Oreo cookie. Check it out. Our problem is it's a, it's a bit of a mess right now. And uh, so what we'd like you to do is we'd like you to build the exposition for us. Mariah was told she was brought here to set up an Egyptian exhibit for kids. Little did she know she was the only thing being set up. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Corey! What are you doing? I'm just putting it back. No, 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 let go. No, no, no. After the fake mummy fell, we had Mariah put it in a coffin, but she didn't know the coffin had a secret trap door. Now you support its head. His head? Support its head. Hold it? Make sure nothing happens to the head, all right? Okay. The fun really began when we had our museum dude pretend to find the missing piece of a spell tablet that when read three times would awaken the mummy. You know, the, the, they say that if you say the incantation three times, it, the supernatural awakes. Are you superstitious? Kind of. <laughs> Me too. That's why I, I don't dare say it three times. But no one would be foolish enough to read it, right? I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, right. Baka. So, Corey, Corey, Corey. Baka la shari. The sudden power outage gave us the time to activate the trap door. And voila, our dummy mummy was history, leaving me to take its place. Mariah, come here and look at this. What is going on here? I don't know. Are you playing a trick? This no. isn't funny. Can you call my dad? I'm feeling really nervous. Corey decided to call her mommy instead. <laughs> and now for the moment you've been waiting for. We've had a great season of pranking people, but only one prank can be crowned the best of the best, and it is Revenge of the Sis. Chelsea Singer wanted to pull a super prank on her brother, Noah, by taking him to a paleontological dig and discovering a real-life dinosaur. Man, I tell you, it took a lot of work to pull off this bad boy. Which one of you is Noah? Me. Noah? That means you must be Jordan. Yeah. Nice to meet you. The scene was set. We told Noah that a local paleontologist, me of course, needed a hand digging for dinosaur bones. It didn't take long for Noah to make a shocking discovery. <gasps> oh my god. Andy. We found something. Guys, look at this. <gasps> Whoa. Andy. Come, come here, we found we something found big. Something big. Carl, Carl, hold on. Okay, just stay there. Do you want us Watch to out. do yeah. that one? Try and brush that one out. Be very, and this very one. careful. While they were busy digging, I brought the dinosaur egg over and placed it on a trick table. 
a perfect place for it to hatch. Oh yeah, my careful, God. Careful, careful. Walk with it okay. slowly. Is it heavy? Watch where you step, just bring it over here. I don't want to step on anything. We rigged the eggs so they would shake with a remote control, but soon they wouldn't be the only things shaking. Right, Noah? <sighs> I, I feel this one rumbling inside. Do you guys want to, do you feel yes. that? Oh, it is. <laughs> it's oh so God. scary. <laughs> oh my God. Ah! <laughs> you <it's... laughs> Okay, step, wait. <sighs> No, stay here. It's all right. It's dead. All right? This is scary. Unfortunately for Noah, we weren't through with him yet. What? What? I want to leave. Guys, no, just no, stay wait. Here. Stay there. Be careful. No, guys, just, I'm we're safe go here. This. It's a dinosaur rumble. Yeah, obviously, but come on, guys. How come dinosaur? Guys, just, guys, just... guys, come here. It's the mother. Are you sure? Come on. Where is it? This is here to you. Oh. 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 I got you. You've been pranked. You're on prank patrol. You know what makes these five pranks my favorites? The reactions. <gasps> oh my god! Oh! But it's important to remember: after you've had your laugh, don't forget to let your target off the hook. <laughs> Very important because if you don't, they may never recover. Although it's possible they may never recover anyway. You guys got pranked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're such a liar! Bye. Thank you. Uh, High five! Oh, we did it. We did it. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Yes! I just love it when a good prank comes together. And who knows, maybe the next dream prank we pull off will be yours. <laughs>